All right. Well, here we go. I got the headset in. Uh, I'm a little under the weather. So please forgive me if um, somewhere along the lines you hear sniffling or boogers or whatever. Um, let's get to it. Galaxy tutorial. Here we go. First off, let's go over uh, the colors that I'm going to be using. So we're doing this on canvas. This is an old canvas. I painted it black just to get it started. Um, we're using the Art Tool FX stencils. They come in these three stencils. They're actually pretty dope. One, two, three, they're minis. They're all about that big. We're working with Jacquard paints. We're gonna be using transparent red, transparent blue, fluorescent violet, transparent yellow, and uh, white and black. I don't need to show you white and black because it's simply white and black. You guys will have to forgive me for the setup today and for how uh, crazy it looks and the fact that I, I wanted to keep my word. I said I was going to do this tutorial today. And uh, hey, son, what's up? So I'm going to get it done because I said I would do it. But the setup isn't great. I don't have my tripod. I don't have anything. So, But I'm a man of my word, and the information I'm going to give you is still good. So here we go. All right. All right. Sit you right there. I know the angle isn't great, but I think you guys will get uh, the gist of what we're doing here. All right. The reason we work with transparent colors is because when using transparent colors, you end up creating a crazy amount of colors uh, just by using three or four basic colors. The fluorescent isn't truly transparent, but the way we're gonna be shooting it, as light as we're gonna be shooting it, it'll end up looking that way. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the white. And uh, it's not all about just using the stencils. So we're gonna come in here. Let me just test this out, make sure I'm not blocking too much. No, I think we're all right. All right, so we're gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to just set up. We're just going to start to make it cloudy, work really loose, just get some basic white in there, um, just start bringing some stuff out. I mean, every now and then we're going to want to throw in a stencil. Now, you want to use the negative space to keep some of that black in there. And uh, as you go, you can get a little bit closer, get a little bit tighter. But the key to this and the way we're going to make it look as dope as possible is by layering. So what you're going to notice is that there's going to be a lot of redundant steps. We're going to do a lot of things over and over again. But I honestly feel like it's the best way to get that real eerie, real three-dimensional look to your galaxy. So again, as you can see, I'm not using the stencil everywhere. There's going to be a lot of freehand things that I want to accomplish. You turn the airbrush sideways and you bring it in and out and you can create kind of like a, like a nebulous effect. Spring dead center on the stencil too will give you, it'll use up all the little holes and you'll get this little crazy little joint right there. All right. I'm not going to try to prolong this thing too, too much, but I am going to try to go through all the steps just to make sure that I'm giving the, now you could do the galaxy however you want to do it. There's a bunch of different stencils you can use. What I have found is that these work really, really nice. So these are the ones that I use. Um, I guess it's just preference. Also, another cool little trick is move the stencil 
as you're spraying. You create that that weird little effect right there. So throw in some real bright spots. If y'all can hear that, that's my compressor just rattling away. It's a loud one. All right. That's our beginning right there. Now, if you want to just the red and blue and purple galaxy, you can do it that way. I'm going to kind of go all the way across the board just to try to create as many different colors as possible. Usually you want to start with your lightest color um, and go from there. So this is the transparent yellow. And as you can see, when we spray it on top of the white, it changes the white, but it doesn't change the black, really. And we're just going to use it randomly. All right. Switch over to the red. Now, what we want to do is we're going to use the red same thing. As you can see, it changes the white. It doesn't really affect the black area around it. But you can run that into the, the yellow. And it'll create kind of this orange look to it. So now we've accomplished yellow, orange, and red. And all we've done is use two colors. Grab the fluorescent violet. But these fluorescents, again, they're not completely transparent, so they do change the black a little bit. I don't know if you could tell right there. But they're enough that... If you use them lightly, you can get a transparent effect from them. All right. We'll go ahead and switch over to the blue. All right. Of course, my blue is going to start to act out right now. There. And again, we're not necessarily picking one spot to work with. We're running the colors into one another. The blue over the yellow is going to create like this eerie green. Like you can see right there. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's there. If you shoot it over the violet, it makes the violet a little bit darker, a little bit of a truer purple. Try to change the angle so you guys can see what's really going on here. So that's what we got so far. We didn't lose the white, but we changed what was going on with the white. Glare's killing it. Now 
this a little bit better. All right. Now we'll go back to the white. Here's where we're going to start to get a little bit more detailed on what we're doing. Try to accomplish some more stuff. All right. A little quick tip. If you take the cap off of the end of your airbrush, you can get finer lines. Now, we're not following any of the previous patterns that we've done. We're going over them, and we're kind of intersecting with them, but we're also going in a different direction also. For instance, this is where I sprayed directly into my stencil and let the white haze around it. At this point, I'm not doing that. I'm coming back in, and now I'm going over the area with more white. That blue will still be there. And if you're doing sneakers, when you clear coat it, it'll all, you, you'll see all of it. When you clear coat it, that shine will make it so that you can see even that deep blue that you have underneath there. Try to pick up different ones of the stencils. Don't just use the same one over and over again. Change the size that you're doing so you don't end up getting the same pattern over and over again. And a lot of it is still technique. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't just trust the stencil to do all the work for you. A lot of it, you, you do have to have a little bit of technique. Come in and out, bounce the airbrush. And what you'll do is you'll create like this cloudy. You create your own textures without having to use the stencil. And that's what will give your Galaxy a real dope look that's what will give it like a real organic look and that's what you're trying to accomplish at the end of the day you don't want it to look like every other galaxy you've ever seen you want it to look like it's in outer space you want it to look like it's it's something that nobody's seen before and that'll set your galaxy apart from what other people are doing and again i think the more colors you use you can't go wrong you know like i see some galaxies sometimes that are really really dope in design but they use two colors and there's really no life to it. And there's no highs. It's really monotone. That's when this layering will give you a real special touch. It'll take away that monotone look. That monotone meaning sometimes you see a galaxy project that somebody does and it looks all blue. Like there's no life to it. There's no pop. Um, this method will give, you, will give you a lot of pop. Again, I am a little under the weather. I apologize for the heavy breathing. I'm also wearing my microphone because my whole setup got jacked up today, man. I forgot my tripod. I forgot my phone holder. So I apologize for all that. And I'm 43 at the end of the day. I'm an old man, so there'll be some heavy breathing here, man. All right, we're going to do that. the method where we drag it as we airbrush. We drag the stencil.
Let me get that funky cloud again. Yo, do me a favor. Uh, grab that charger, the whole setup. Because this phone's about to lose battery. I'm going to have to plug in the charger. I think you got to bring, yeah, bring the whole joint. Hold on, people. My phone's about to die. My man, TRA Customs, is helping me out right now. He's saving the day. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that'll work. He's bringing me the charger. This is a good intermission. So, all right, in the meantime, let me show y'all what we got. So, you see the, the colors in the background, and we've covered some of them with white, but we've left a lot of them out in the open. So we got the layer underneath, and then we got what we're doing on top of it. And we're about to go back in with the transparent colors right now. Thanks, sir. Let me uh, figure out how I'm going to do this now. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Now this time around, we are gonna to try to be a little bit more purposeful with the colors that we use. So here, we did white on top of a back area that had um, yellow. So now we're gonna come back in with the yellow and we're gonna be more purposeful. We're gonna put yellow in there. Now what that's gonna create is, you got that dark yellow in the back and the new brighter yellow in the front it's going to automatically give it like a glow. We don't need to, to do that too often. Here I want to do that, but over here we got red. Now what's going to make that white pop against that red is going to be giving it a layer of yellow. Now it's going to give you a feel like, like, like that star, like that gas is on fire. A little bit of red up here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna accompany it with some yellow. Gas okay, stop right there. All right. Come back in with this red. We got this purple over here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. You can't see it too much, but red against that purple is never a bad look. Got more of that purple up here. The, the more layers of the transparency that you put on, the more, the darker it'll get, the more vibrant it'll get. Come back in with my violet. And I mean, you know, in, in most of these galaxies, violet is a, a color that's used a lot. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's what people expect. But again, I think that changing it up a little bit, adding your own flavor to it, adding more colors to it, gives it a little bit more of a pop. A little bit more live in there. All right. Let's get some of this blue. I want to darken this area down here. I'm going to throw that blue in there. I'm going to blend that blue into some of these other areas. Throw some of that blue on top of the violet over here. I think you guys can tell it's starting to get more interesting as we go. Throw in a little bit of blue, a little more blue in there. I'm gonna come back with this yellow because I do want to brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, that works. 
คนละทีGetting into a little something right there. All right. So now we're two layers of white in and two layers of color in. So this will be the last time we come around with the white. And you can go as many layers as you want. You don't necessarily have to just do two layers of white um, and and two layers of color. You could do as many layers of white and color. What you always want to be careful with is you want to keep, of course, some dark in there. And you can always come back with the black. And I might do that in a couple of spots um, just to bring the black back in and make it darker, make it look like we're really out there in space. But uh, let's try to go with this real quick. Anywhere that you have the highlights already, and by highlights, I mean the white parts that are covered with color, you definitely want to go back in there and add some white specifically in there. Um, you're going to see why later, but it will definitely help to create a glow to the stars that we're going to add in a little bit later. So remember, anytime you have these these high parts, these highlights, these really bright spots, you want to come in there with some white again. And we're going to take care of that first. And it's time consuming. And you can imagine if you're doing a shoe and you're working, I mean, I'm in order to speed this up, I'm working on a flat surface. But if I was doing a shoe and I had to go all the way around the shoe and then go all the way around the shoe numerous times, it's going to be time consuming. But, you know, it's all dependent on what you're trying to accomplish, the look you're trying to give. And, um, you know, if you're doing this as a business, what is it that you want to be known for? What is it that you want to provide your client? How are you going to separate yourself from your other client? I mean, from, from the other artists that are out there doing the same thing you're doing. Last but not least, we do, you know, just give it a couple of clouds, a couple of uh, hazes against the stencil again. Man, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see how nice that pop right there. That's mean. That's not a glare. That's not nothing. That's coming with that white. There's the yellow and the red in the background. It's got that glow. I like that part. I ain't gonna lie. I like that one a lot. And again, all the stuff that you're seeing, like if you were to look up in space, these are all clouds and, and gaseous bodies that you're looking at. So you want to give it that soft touch. You want to let it look like gas out there, you know? And yeah, it might seem corny that I'm talking about it, but well, I mean, like I said, it's all about attention to detail and what you want to give your client. If you want to half-ass it and shortcut it, that's, I can't. Hey, do you? That just makes me look like a rock star, baby. All right. And again, it's not always, it's not all stencil. 
Get your technique up. Get these little fine lightning bolts in there. Get these, make it look like gas. Learn how to use the tools that you're using. So sometimes, like for instance, doing this lightning right here, I'll create a shape like this, this shape that goes up and down. Find a piece of the stencil that mimics that shape and then hit it real quick. And it'll just give a cool little effect right alongside your, your lightning. these open holes right here. Put one of the highlights in the center of it. Haze around it. Again, you get that dope little effect. Keep coming in, keep freehanding. Keep creating more gas. <laughs> Great All right. And now, to finish it off, real quick. This is the easiest way I know how to do stars. I can't even lie to you. I'm gonna give y'all the easiest, truly the easiest ways to do stars. Right there. Put some paint. So grab your brush, dip it in some white paint, flick it right on top. Just flick it. Bam. Last but not least, for the for the for the bonus points, last but not least, anywhere you got a highlight, like right there, make sure you got a big star inside of it. Do that with your brush, do that by hand. I know it sucks to go back into every last one of them and make sure that you got a make sure that you got a bright spot on the inside of each one. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, that last little touch, that last little bit of, of technique, oh, man, I'm telling that's what sets it apart right there. Because when you do that, I'm going to get up close on one of these. Every last one of them. You get up close, boom inside each highlight. I know it sucks, I know it's a pain, it's time consuming, but I'm about to zoom in and show y'all what I'm talking about. Right there, right there. Yeah, sometimes I hold my breath when I'm doing this. Even inside of this lightning bolt right here, come in and brush your way inside of it. All right, let me zoom in and show you why. Right there, when you come inside that highlight and you put that star purposefully in there with your brush, that highlight creates a glow around that star. Same thing with all of them. Now you got a yellow glow around that one. Same thing. You got that red glow around that one. Same thing there. You got the purple glow around these. It's worth it. Take your time. Be purposeful with your actions. Layer it. And if I, I don't have any clear coat and I'm inside of my house and I'm not going to clear coat inside of my house because 
That stuff is not not good for you. But that's the end result right there, man. That's worth it. That's worth the time to do it. Come on now. Look at that. Look at the color transitions. Look at the blue, the reds, the yellow. More blue, the purples, the reds. Come on now. It's worth it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I have fun doing it for y'all. I kept my word. I'm posting it up. Of course, I'm still making custom sneakers. I'm always making custom sneakers. I just, I've been doing a lot of other stuff lately too, though. 